Who can tell me one of the types of conflict in language arts? Kellen. Man. man versus man. But wait a minute. Hands down for a moment. We're listening to each other and to me. Man versus man. Does that mean that Kelly and Sasha can't have a conflict? No. No, we call it man versus man, but it really means, flip that over please, it really means human versus human. What's another one? Man versus society, absolutely. Lauren, what's another one? Man versus self. Man versus self. And what is my fourth one, Ooh. Vanessa? Man versus nature. Say it, you're right. Man versus nature. Man versus nature, good job. There are four kinds of conflict that we're focused on. There are other kinds of conflict that you'll learn about later. But for right now, these four are plenty. Man versus man. That's. If I'm saying, gosh, you know, I wanted to teach math, or I'm sorry, I wanted math to be taught just tomorrow and all language arts today. That would be me versus Mr. Mink, right? Yeah. That I can still be man versus man, even though I'm a female. Man versus self. Those are those moments, Liliana, off your nose. Those are the moments when we sit there and we say, gosh, I'm sure you're a better piano player. I want to be better at playing the piano. The problem is, I just don't want to practice. I also want to do all the other things. That's man versus self. Fair enough? Because nobody's stopping me from practicing the piano other than me. Now, if somebody were like blocking the piano and I couldn't get to it, different situation. That'd be man versus man. So you can have the same, a similar problem and have it be two different types of conflict as well. Man versus society, go back to Lena versus the mayor. And the rules, whenever it's a set of rules that you're fighting against. If I don't want to stop at a red light because there's no traffic coming, that's man versus society. I still have to stop at the red light because those are the rules. The rules don't leave open room for like, oh, well, maybe if Mrs. Galley is running late, then it's okay. No, I have to stop at the red lights. Yes? So, like, back when, back when, uh, segregation was a thing, uh -huh. wouldn't, like, the black people and white people, would that be man versus society or would it be man versus man? That's a great question. Kelly asked, what about before segregation when there were racial conflict? It could be man versus society or man versus man, depending on the situation. So if I, like they had segregated water fountains, so only certain people could drink at different water fountains, that would be man versus society because that was a rule. But if somebody called somebody else a name because of the way they looked, that would be man versus man. Does that make sense? So again, it can be the same challenge, just in different, you know, racism is the problem, but the conflict would be described in different ways. Fair? Man versus nature. I want to take you out to recess, but it's raining. It lives into the, Lucas, you're going to stay with me for these examples. That would be a man versus nature conflict. We want to go to recess, but it's raining. We want to go to recess, but we have to learn our academic material. That's a man versus society. We have to be learners. We have to be in class. We have a certain amount of time. We have to be learning every day. We can't just spend all day on the playground. That would be a man versus society conflict. Fair enough? Be absurd. It would be absurd to be outside all day. It'd be fun until you got to sixth grade. Then it would not be fun. Why not? Because you would not be ready for sixth grade. Well, my sixth graders would go outside though. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met those middle school teachers? You're not going to go outside again. They all right. Go outside. Very short. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's another challenge. Are you ready? There's a potential hurricane floating around in the Gulf. Heavens only knows what that thing is doing. I don't have a conflict with it. Is it out there? Yeah. Can there be weather without me having a conflict? Yeah. yeah. Right now, I have no conflict with the storm. It's fine. Well, even if it was raining outside, it could be a rainy day and I'm not having a conflict with that. Okay, so that's important to know. There could be a bad situation that's not part of my conflict in my story. Fair? 
So man versus man, man versus self, man versus society, and man versus nature. I'm going to partner you up. You have one of those color by, okay. color by, yeah, color by conflict actually today. Don't start yet, it's on your seesaw activities. Now listen carefully, here's how it's going to work when you're partnered. One of you will read the passage, you will both decide which conflict it is. The other person will read the next passage, you will still both decide what passage it is. There's no like, oh, I'm done. Fair enough. Dante, what's your question? Yeah, you have to agree. That's why you have a partner. <laughs> Giada, cut. All right, and today your partners will be the five.